Hi guys, Marcy here, and today we're going to do something called products I regret buying, or products that didn't work for me, or whatever it is that you want to call it. I've been seeing a whole, whole lot of these on YouTube lately, so I figured I'd do my own and, you know, try to incorporate maybe some products that, although they may not have worked well, um, maybe there's another one that I think may work better. Also, just because I say these products don't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you. And as a matter of fact, I'm almost 100% certain that there's going to be something in here that although I didn't like it, it's going to be somebody's holy grail favorite everyday product. And that is perfectly fine. We are all different. We are all made differently. We all have different skin complexions, different skin problems and textures. And just because something didn't work for me does not mean it won't work for you. It might be fantastic for you. Um, these are just my personal opinion, things that I bought that don't work well for me. I don't want to make anyone mad or offend anyone. I am just simply going through things that, that just didn't work for me. And like I said, if they work for you, that's fine. Keep using them till your little heart is content by all means. Don't stop using something just because me or anyone else on the internet for that matter said that they're bad and there might be something out there that that one of you can't stand that I absolutely love it's just the way it is no two people are exactly alike and that's just how it is um, but with that said I do have drugstore and high-end in here and we are going to get started the first two things I want to talk about are two lipsticks that I bought from Ulta they are both pinks. One is the regular Ulta lipstick and one is the, it's, I believe it's the weightless Ulta lipstick. And this is what they look like. So one's just a little bit more corally. This one's more corally and this one's more pink. Um, and you'd think you'd get really, really good color out of these, but And it actually, it just broke on me. They both just broke on me, actually. But that's okay, because they were garbage anyway. And as you can see on my arm, I did swatch them. There's no color payoff at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. Actually, there's more, there's better color payoff now that I broke it in half. But um, you really didn't get much of anything out of these. Um, they were just terrible. You would really have to layer it on just to get any kind of color payoff at all. I think they were somewhere between six and eight dollars at Ulta, um, and I just definitely don't think they're worth it. I think there's much, much better uh, drugstore lipsticks out there that you can get for a much cheaper price. One of those is this Maybelline lipstick, and I believe this is the Color Sensational Vivids, maybe? Um, it is a Vivid. It's in the red case. As you can see, it is a pink just like the other ones, except this is what it looks like. So much, much better color payoff, um, much creamier, just goes on better overall. So I highly suggest getting a Maybelline or even a Milani for $5. Milani lipsticks I think are amazing uh, for the cost and these just simply didn't cut it for me. The next thing I want to talk about might make some of you a little upset, um, but it just did not work for me at all, and that is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Color Correction, or I'm sorry, Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. There you go. And it looks like this, and I just couldn't get into it. it it made me shimmer, but in like a weird kind of way, which I guess is like the brightening. And for the tightening, it just made me feel very, very stiff. Like I felt like I couldn't make facial expressions properly or anything like that. It is very, very watery, I think. Um, I just didn't like the way it went on. It looks like that. It's just white and it goes into like a very shimmery, watery kind of, I don't know. I just don't like it at all. I did only pay half price for it. I did get it on sale, but I'll, I mean, I'm probably, I'm never going to use it. I would much, much rather the Smashbox ones. I love the Smashbox ones. I've never had a problem with them. This one just, just didn't do it for me. So I'll probably just end up giving it to a friend or something because I will never use it. 
Next, I want to talk about something that I just showed you guys in my last makeup video, and that is this LA Colors Cheeks and Lips Tinted, uh, or not tinted, um, Cream Stick Bronzer. It looks just like this. My problem with this is not the bronzer, it's actually the packaging. Um, I don't want to repeat myself very much, but in the last video I said that I had a really hard time getting it on, and it's true. Um, the problem I have with this is if you try and rub it on your face as a bronzer, it either smears or removes your makeup, and then your makeup gets actually stuck to the stick. I tried putting it on before I put on my makeup, and it just didn't come through, and its color just wasn't as true as it should have been. It is a really beautiful color, it's just a really hard to figure out how to get this thing to work. So that's my problem with that one. The next one I want to talk about is from CoverGirl, and I also covered this in one of my very first videos, I believe, and it is this CoverGirl face brush. It comes in a white, pink, and orange packaging. It looks just like this. The problem I have with this is that it had such great potential, and CoverGirl royally screwed it up. <laughs> um, it is very, very soft. It feels like it would have been a fantastic brush, like so, so soft. The problem is every time you touch this head, hairs come flying out. I've tried washing it, I've tried not washing it, I've never even used this on makeup yet. I mean, this thing has never touched makeup before, ever, because I am so scared that if I put this on my face with makeup, that I'm just going to have a million hairs stuck to my face, because literally, every time I touch this, more and more hairs are just coming out, and it is ridiculous. If CoverGirl had just somehow secured this better, this would have been a beautiful, beautiful brush. But I don't know what they did or what they tried to do, but whatever it is, it didn't work. And this is a huge, huge fail. Do not waste your money. And I think this is between $8 and $10 at drugstores. The next one I want to talk about is from Wet n Wild, and it is their Cover All uh, Correcting Creams. Now, I do have problems with creams. My skin just doesn't like creams cream products. It just never really works well for me. However, I think this one's just bad overall and I'm going to show you why. There it is. You have your three correcting creams and a white highlighter. The problem with this is they don't blend well. They're very cakey or very chalky. Um, aside from that, they make my pores uh, very, very enlarged. It, I think it actually makes me break out a little bit. But it's just very uneven and not pleasing to look at at all. I just think Wet n Wild does have some really good products. I just don't think that this is one of them. And this is about $4.50 in drugstores. Next I'm going to talk about NYX. And NYX comes out with some really great stuff and NYX comes out with some really, really terrible stuff. <sighs> this is one of the terrible things. This is the NYX HD Translucent uh, Powder, Finishing Powder, and you can see the smoke. That's all of your products that you're losing just by putting your cap on and taking your cap off. You're losing all of that product. It is just so, so fine. Um, it, it just blows away. It literally just blows away. My other problem with this is I put it on and no matter how hard I blend, I look like Casper the Ghost. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that picture of Nicole Kidman when she stepped out on the red carpet and there were just patches of white all over her face. That is from something very similar to this. And when I went on the NYX um, website to make my review, I obviously was not the only person because every, almost every single person that put a negative about this put down that they could not get it to blend in and they had patches of white everywhere. They do have this in like a banana powder that I would really like to try. However, I am scared to spend another 10 to $12 and it be another dud. Um, but this just, I don't recommend this for anybody. There are far better HD powders out there um, for just about the same price. I would not waste my money on this one. The next thing I want to talk about from NYX is this Conceal Correct Contour um, color palette. It is a cream palette and I think this one may work for some people that can use creams. It just doesn't work for me. It's very similar to the Wet n Wild one. I just have issues with it enlarging my pores and going on cakey and uneven. 
and just not blending well. But like I said, I think that's just my personal skin problems. This may work really, really nice for somebody else. It just does not work nice for me. But you have, you know, your contour, your highlight, your blush, and then um, concealer, various concealer and correcting colors. And they do make this in different palettes. Uh, I think there's a light, a medium, and a dark. Alright, the last thing I want to talk about from NYX is something that people may get a little upset with me about, but that is a push-up bra for your eyebrows um, pencil. It is this dual-ended pencil. You have this very nice light pink highlight color and then your brow pencil color. I love this height, this pink highlight color. I think it's beautiful. It goes on very creamy and smooth. It's a very um, nice to blend out. It's just a very light, light pink. I love it. I do not love the actual part that you're supposed to put to color in your brow. I think it's too big, it's too clumsy to work with um, a brow for color, and it's very, very hard to actually get color out on it. You like really have to push just to get the smallest amount of color, and I just don't like it at all, especially for the price. This thing is almost $10 at drugstores. Instead of using that NYX, I would highly, highly suggest using the Maybelline Define a Brow. And it looks just like this. They have a very wide variety of colors and it's very, very soft, very easy to use. You just twist this and the product comes up. And this is like a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is amazing. I use it every single day on my brows. It is my go-to product. I must have five of these sitting in my makeup drawer right now just waiting to be used because I love them that much. But as opposed to $21 for Browiz or even $10 for the Push Up one for NYX, this is only $6 and it does an amazing, amazing job. The next product I have an issue with and I think I'm, I'm hoping anyway that I just got a dud and that they all aren't actually like this because this is probably the worst mascara I have ever, ever seen in my entire life. And that is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara. It looks just like this except I got this new at CVS and I paid 7 or 8 bucks for it and the formula is just completely dry. Like completely dry. Like I don't know. It's just terrible. It is absolutely terrible. It is super, super clumpy. Um, it's just dry. It is just so dry. I mean, look at that. Look at that. The wand is terrible. Like, everything about this is terrible. Um, so, I don't know if they are all like this, if they're all that bad, or if I just got a dud. If you have this and you use it, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Because... I cannot believe CoverGirl could put something this terrible out, but then I look at that brush and I'm like, eh, maybe. But this, I I wouldn't give this away. I'm probably going to throw it in the garbage after I finish this video because it is that bad. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is this trio set that I got from Benefit Cosmetics. And I believe it was called the You Go Gals Trio. I paid $13 for it on the Benefit website. And it comes with your Professional. It comes with the That Gal Primer. And it comes with the Girl Meets Pearl Illuminizer or Highlighter. The only good one that I thought was out of this trio was the Girl Meets Pearl. Although I believe that if you get the full size, it's like a stick more and not, um, not a liquid. Although I could be wrong. But this I do like putting on like before I put on any makeup and it just gives that nice um, like luminous, luminescent, bleh, you know, it brightens your face up and it makes you look real pretty. But I like this one. These two, meh. If you've seen any of my early videos, you know how I feel about the professional. This may work for like real, like normal skin or people that don't have a whole lot of skin problems. However, this clogged my pores and broke me out like no other, like to the point where I just can't use it anymore. And I'm actually so glad that I got a trial size and not a full size of it because I can't use this. I cannot use this. If you have any kind of sensitive skin or you're prone to keratosis pilaris or acne breakouts or anything like that, this will clog your pores and make you break out. 
Yes, it does work. Yes, it minimizes, minimizes the look of your pores. And yes, it smells really, really nice. But the payoff to your skin is not worth it because it destroys your skin in the process. And no, I just can't. I cannot. The That Girl Primer is not that bad. I just really, really prefer and am so in love with my Smashbox primers that there's just no comparison for me. Um, it is a light pink color. It does smell nice. It is more liquidy as far as a primer goes. You know, it it keeps everything in place. Maybe not as long as maybe the Smashbox one does. It's meh. I mean, I don't know if I'd spend what they want for a full size, but I this is almost all gone. This little trial size sample tube. It's just meh. Do I think it was worth the thirteen dollars to get three three little tubes? Absolutely not. But if you've never used any of these products before and you're not really sure, you know, you kind of want to experiment but aren't sure, you know, how they would affect you or how you would like them, I think then it is worth it to definitely get the samples before you get the full sizes because, like I said, I never would have guessed that this did to my face what it did, but sure, sure enough, it was definitely that. Okay, I have two more products that I want to show you guys and then that's it. This video is over. Uh, this product I also talked about in my last video and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it then and I'm still not quite sure what to do with it now. And that is the Fergie Illuminizer from Wet n Wild. The actual name of this is Hollywood Boulevard and I believe this is supposed to be some kind of a highlight for your skin. Um, the tr it was a part of a trio which had a blush slash highlight, a bronzer, and this. You'd think this would be a highlight just because of the colors that are in it. However, like I said in the last time, metallic gold. And I just don't think anyone wants to be like sh like straight metallic gold where you're supposed to put a highlight. Um, so I'm just not sure what to do with this. I haven't really used it. I haven't been using it at all. Uh, if anyone knows what this is actually supposed to be or where I can use it or how I can use it, Feel free to let me know in the comments down below because right now it is just sitting, taking up space. The other two are getting used on a regular basis, just not this one. And I just, I don't know. I don't I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make like a highlighter metallic gold, but this last one might surprise some of you and all of the YouTube beauty gurus talk about this. I hear about this non-stop. So I went into Ulta, I paid the, I think it was seven or eight dollars, and I got it for myself, and I am not impressed at all. And that is the Mario Badusco Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. It looks just like this, and if you watch any of the YouTube beauty, beauty gurus, you have seen or heard about this before. First off, I know because everyone said it had a very florally scent, but like this thing is potent like it is so so strong and it smells like straight roses like it's not floral or it's not this thing smells like you're in the middle of like a huge rose garden like it is pungent it is like super 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 heavy a little too heavy for my liking um, they say you're supposed to spray this on your face before makeup and before bed I haven't seen it do any kind of special thing to my skin. My skin doesn't look better. It doesn't feel better. I'm not breaking out any less. Actually, I'm breaking out a little bit more, so I'm really starting to wonder if there's something in this that's making me break out. Um, but I'm just not impressed. I don't, I don't know what everyone else sees in this, but whatever it is, it ain't happening here. So I think this is kind of just a waste or maybe... A sponsor scam I hate to say it but I just I don't see anything good or positive happening from this bottle of spray so that's that and that is everything for this video um if you agree and there's something I included that really didn't work for you comment and let me know down below the other way around as well if I included something and it is your holy grail and you absolutely love it, tell us why and comment down below. As always, if you like everything I have to bring you every week, just hit that subscribe button. And I love yous. I'll talk to you later.